everybody, my name is Lydia. I'm an interpreter for California State Parks here at Cuyamaco Rancho State Park today, celebrating Biodiversity Week. And today I'm joined by one of our environmental scientists, Lisa. Hi, I'm Lisa Gonzalez Kramer. I'm an environmental scientist and the project manager for the Cuyamaco Rancho State Park reforestation project. Very happy to be with you guys today to talk about biodiversity and how we're protecting and restoring it in Cuyamaco. So Lisa, we are so grateful to have you here with us today. Why don't you tell us a little bit about where we are today? Sure, thanks. Uh, so yeah, we're standing at, um, uh, well, below Cuyamaca Peak, which is this peak behind us. And um, if you look at the top of Cuyamaca Peak, you see a skyline there with um, green trees. And those are conifers, and a conifer is a cone-bearing tree. And so that uh, strip of uh, forest up there is a really important stand in terms of biodiversity. It is the last remaining sugar pine stand in San Diego County. Uh, so um, it exists still as our sky island in the park. Uh, we used to have a number of sky islands in the park. Now, can you tell us what, what is a sky island? Well, a sky island is a type of uh, habitat that uh, exist on along a series of mountain peaks. So if you can imagine that series of mountain peaks and uh, above 4,500 feet in elevation up to the top of those about 6,500 feet are uh, islands that are forests and uh, they're a refuge for a lot of different types of um, of animals and, and, and even plants. Uh, you know, they're specific to those types of elevations and um, that mixture of uh, vegetative species. That's really cool. And you said that this was the last remaining stand. Can you tell us a little bit about what happened here? Sure. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we had the uh, 2003 Cedar Fire uh, come here, uh, uh, come through the park uh, in the fall of uh, 2003. And it was a catastrophic fire, um, largest fire uh, in California for, for 14 years before we started having these uh, recent major fires again. But essentially, um, it destroyed uh, 10,000 acres of wow. Sky Island mixed conifer forest habitat in the park. 10,000 acres, if you can imagine 10,000 acres to about what's left of uh, about a little over 100 acres up here at the peak is left of what we had before. So we had a huge loss of biodiversity as a result of that catastrophic fire. And now you are the project manager for the Cuyamaca Rancho State Park reforestation project. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us um, what, what does reforestation mean here? Yeah, so reforestation in uh, the way that we carry out reforestation in the park is really ecosystem uh, restoration. And uh, it is reforesting what used to be the forested footprint in the park. So we have a lot of different types of habitat in the park chaparral and meadows and riparian areas and um, and uh, the 10,000 acres of forest um, is um, what's missing from that and so what we're doing is is um, replanting our native conifer species within that forested uh, footprint of what was uh, here before it's really important in terms of um, uh, watershed as well. So 10,000 acres, we're at the headwaters of three San Diego County watersheds and to lose 10,000 acres of forest at a watershed is pretty significant. Um, it was uh, a, a decision on the part of California State Parks that this loss of, um, this loss of habitat, this loss of uh, watershed function was really important to uh, restore and that's why, that's why we're working to restore that now in the park. So why don't we take a look at some of um, what we are replanting up close? Sure. So I want to tell you about uh, this area. It was uh, planted in 2008. It is our first planting year uh, after the fire. And uh, we planted these as year old seedlings uh, about this high, bare root at the time. And um, you can see uh, the, the different seedlings actually coming up to a sapling stage. They're gonna enter, you know, sapling stage or at different, different heights, and that's normal. 
Uh, we planted in a couple of different years here, so 2008 and probably 9 and 10, just to make sure that uh, everything was uh, had a good survival rate. And in the background you can see uh, is the uh, canopy that we're really trying to replicate. So. I wanted to show you this area because it's a beautiful uh, example of the diversity that we are working to uh, continue to restore uh, to restore to. So we do have uh, little seedlings that we planted in here. They're now saplings. This is a, a coulter pine and um, essentially uh, we we actually planted um, more uh, white fir and uh, in, um, uh, sugar pine in here as well uh, as Jeffrey and Coulter. So um, this, uh, and, and you can see it already has a lot of uh, cedar trees as well. So what you see here is, uh, again, I'm going to talk about kind of the diversity and the structure here. We have uh, downed uh, wood, we have some standing snags in the background, we have new seedlings and uh, growing into sapling stage. We have uh, Parrish's golden bush. And so this is just a really great area for uh, the recovery of forested habitat in this, in this location. So we're in the Sky Island now. Can you tell us a little bit about it here? Yes, uh, this is one of my favorite places in the park. And uh, we're standing on the Conejos Trail, which winds through the old growth forest and uh, we're at about 6,500 feet in elevation. It is cool and uh, has more moisture in the air here as a result of being at a higher elevation. Uh, the canopy as I spoke about is, um, is uh, uh, has more complexity and uh, if you, you look um, actually the forest has more complexity here so uh, everything from forest duff and uh, humus on the ground to um, uh, areas that have uh, ferns and uh, shrub layer uh, seedlings and saplings are beginning to regenerate in the forest shade and on the understory and uh, then we also have the mature uh, trees and the uh, uh, canopy overhead that provides the shade. This, uh, this peak um, it is really important uh, during the winter. It holds uh, snow for longer periods of time and that helps to hold uh, soil moisture and have it infiltrate at slower rates. That helps with the functioning of the watershed. Um, it's also because of the complexity of the structure here, we have a lot of different uh, forest species that call this uh, refuge home. Uh, prior to the Cedar Fire had uh, five uh, nesting pair of California spotted owls up here and um, unfortunately since the fire we have not seen them uh, and so restoring this habitat, uh, protecting this habitat and restoring more like it uh, will allow uh, the species um, to that, that are dependent on this uh, to flourish and uh, use this area for their uh, life cycles that and uh, what you might do if you come to the park uh, come up to the Conejos Trail and 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 stand in the understory of this beautiful mature forest canopy this sky island and just listen and appreciate all of the things that this this brings to us it's a wonderful wonderful place to be Thank you, Lisa, so much for joining us for Biodiversity Week. We loved uh, all the information that you had to share and for bringing us to this, this beautiful place that uh, hopefully we will work to restore in the rest of the park. My pleasure. Thank you.